There's a lot of mediocre food out there. There's a lot of good food out there. But every once in a while, you eat something somewhere so good that memory vividly stays with you forever. A game changer. We're looking for more of these. Today, we are in Chicago, and we've been told the hot dogs here are like no others. But are they actually that good? And does Chicago have what four British doofuses are looking for? So where are we right now? The first question we needed to answer was what is a Chicago hot dog? So to find out, we split up. Baz and Jay went north and Ben and I went downtown. Today is a good day. They're focused on flavours, textures, and they've nailed it. So this is the Portillo's hot dog, and it seems to be more about the topping than the dog in the bun itself. Frankfurter, onions, mustard, what looks like chopped up pickles, definitely no ketchup. There's so much going on, you almost forget there's a dog involved. First breakfast, hot dogs. Second breakfast, fried chicken. Just another day being Jamie. The waiter reckons that we're supposed to put this honey butter on the chicken like it's spreading butter on toast. We gave him a camera as well. Sorry. So you got a bit of salty, a bit of sweet, a lovely bit of spice from the, um, from the Cajun chicken as well. Took a break from eating hot dogs to go paddle boarding. What's that? <laughs> So they're quite embarrassing tan lines. <laughs> that is unbelievable. In the middle of a huge city. Lake Michigan, looking over the skyline. They've got a beach. I fell in. Go on, just sending the Twitter. Now, to be honest, we got a little bit sidetracked from finding hot dogs because the food everywhere was just great. I found this place on Instagram and um, they do the most amazing ice cream filled macarons. Oh, there's so many flavours and it's so cold. Mate, what have we stumbled upon here? We've got boats, we've got beautiful people, we've got bikes. Yeah. We've got all the bees. And no Ben. No <laughs> It's pretty much perfect. Me and Ben were actually having a great time. We found this amazing little coffee shop called Asado, and then, to be fair to Ben, he absolutely struck gold. We are getting the loop. Felony Frank's is a prison-themed hot dog joint. They do other food too, and that is Dino, the owner, and the idea behind this place is so good. Felony Frank's is a gourmet fast food restaurant that employs people who've been to prison. We decided let's create a business, put people to work, show the world what they can do, um, which is why we have a commitment to excellence because we, we know that people would come to our restaurant once because of the mission, but if the food was fantastic and the service was great, that they would come back over and over and over. Being a convicted felon, he didn't judge me or anything. You know, any other job, being a convicted felon, they will probably would not give you a job. But here you have to be a convicted felon in order to have this job. I've been living in Chicago my whole life. So what better person to fix a Chicago-style hot dog than a guy who's lived here all their life, right? The typical Chicago-style hot dog and the Chicago-style Polish sausage. Uh, the first, you have to have a poppy seed bun. Delivered fresh to us right from the ovens seven days a week. Wow. And then you have an all-beef frank, which is either a Polish sausage or, or a hot dog. Our beef franks are... Um, You've probably heard by now the Vienna beef. Mm -hmm. Well, we use one of Vienna's brands. It's called Red Hot Chicago. It's uh, slightly juicier, in my opinion, and I think it has a little bit more flavor. And then what goes on top of a Chicago-style dog is mustard, tomato, onion, relish, pickle, sport peppers, and celery salt. And no ketchup. Absolutely no ketchup <laughs> under any circumstance. In fact, you'll see on our lineup wall, it's our biggest defense. So, I don't know if you looked around, we don't even have a freezer in there. So everything is fresh, and I think that that makes a huge difference. We've come a long way for this. It's That's a it. It's a multitude of flavors, you know, it's just, you, it, it takes you in a lot of different directions. But. 
The char-grilled beef dog had a great bite, the hit of mustard was offset by the sweet and spiciness of the chilies and pickle, and the onions, tomatoes and relish just added a really crisp, sort of juicy freshness. Part of the reason we opened in addition to helping ex-offenders was getting the world back to the idea that good food is worth paying for yep. and it's worth eating. I'd be really enthused by, um, I love cooking. I do it at home all the time. He gave me a second chance, so that's why I do the best job I do here for um, Dino here at Felony Franks. I just love doing it, <laughs> making people happy. Thank you. Thank Dino, you. what a legend. We don't even know what the other guys have done either. No, but I don't care. That was a game changer. Game changer. We, we might have two in this video. Changer. We might have two in this video. <laughs> it was then time to meet up with Barry and Jamie for our final stop of the day. The Blues Brothers movie played on an outdoor amphitheatre in Millennium Park. Um, I love baseball now. It's my thing. I'm a baller. Is it baller? Baller? <laughs> you get the second base. <laughs> Look at where we are. We're in the middle of Millennium Park, eating hot dogs, watching Blues Brothers on an outdoor cinema with Garrett Popcorn whilst the sun sets. What a day. The variety of the things we'd eaten, seen and done was testament to Chicago in itself. We didn't find a bad hot dog all day. And when it comes to a game changer, the way that Dino at Felony Franks uses his passion and high standards of food to give people a second chance is so much more than finding just a great tasting hot dog.